Senator Joe Manchin is on a swing through West Virginia this week and visited Upshur and Randolph counties today. Alex Hines was there and has more. A packed house was on hand at West Virginia Wesleyan College Wednesday afternoon for a town hall meeting with Senator Joe Manchin. The crowd was filled mainly with students, but included members of the Upshur County community as well. Manchin took questions first from political science students before opening it to the crowd, where plenty of other students were lined up as well. But I think I think the millennials, this generation, is first worried about that politics is not working and by the turnout today more than a hundred it shows they're concerned enough to come listen and and for some of them ask questions. Manchin's first stop of the day was also in Upshur County speaking before the West Virginia Broadband Enhancement Council about trying to expand the reach of broadband throughout the state. Federal statistics say about 18 percent of the state doesn't have coverage but Manchin says that number is higher and wants to be sure the need is acknowledged. We want to make sure that they understand who we are in West Virginia, the maps that are inaccurate that they're showing that we have coverage and we don't. And we're going to make sure that West Virginia gets its share to get connected. Manchin finished his day with a visit to Elkins to announce the Appalachian Forest as a national heritage area and further discuss issues for rural West Virginians. But West Virginia Wesleyan students were glad to have had the chance to speak with the senator on their own campus. Well, one of my favorite quotes of all time is, democracy isn't something that you have, it's something that you do. And this is a great way for the people to, con to connect with their leaders, mm -hmm. right, for Senator Manchin here from his constituents. Reporting in Buckhannon, I'm Alex Hines for 12 News.